Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to share with you how to install the Windows 11 on your MacBook that using the Apple Silicon chip. I know there's a couple of videos out there that show you how, but in this video I will show you how to use it, also how to optimize it to make it work best for you. So let's get started. Since Apple doesn't install the bootcamp to this computer, so we have to get the window through a virtual machine, which is Parallels. Parallels is a fast and convenient virtual machine that can help you run Windows without rebooting your computers. So to install, you just follow the link I put on the description to download it. You can select whether to buy it or try the 14 days free trials. So let's download it. So after you successfully download the parallel desktop from the website, you just uh, double click or click open to start the install process. And double click to install parallel desktop. Click open. And from here, it will take a little while to the system download parallel from the internet, like two minutes. So after it's finished download from the internet, it will automatically open. And here we are, the parallel desktop installation panel is up here. So just click accept to the term and rule. And now start to type in your password. Click enter and we'll start utilizing the parallel desktop automatically. So now we have the installation assistant. Uh, just take a, like the attention over here is installation on a Mac with an Apple M1 chip. As it say to complete the parallel desktop setup, you need an installation image with ARM-based operating system. It means you have to download the window 10 or in this video is window 11 on ARM Insider Preview. So just click continue. And as you see, the installation assistant immediately detect the file. It say Windows 11. So this is the name of the file. You will see the link to download it in the video description. So just download it. Do whatever I did. So it will automatically um, insert the image from the file. On this step, you just click continue. And here. We have to select the window edition. In here, it should be, say like window 10 and window 11, but I don't know what happened. So just select the second option. This stuff is will ask you like, what is your purpose of using Windows? So it can optimize the uh, software to make it work best for you. So if it is for game, for design, software testing, software development or for Productivity. So I just gonna click on productivity. You can select all the options and put it like you can change the name in the name and locations. So just check mark on create and go to my setting before installation and click create. So over here we have the uh, window 11 configuration. So we have different setting option we have general options hardware security and backup so what i want you to pay attention is first is options go more options and all the time just select do not synth the reason is sometimes you download some applications and it require different time zones so uh, there's some conflict so to avoid that just select do not synth time so you can for example you can change to another time zone for your virtual device which are different from your original map so just select do not sync over here and then full screen if you want to use the window 11 in full screen so put a check mark on here we move to the hardware which is really important so 
this is where you determine how many CPUs or uh, how many memories like RAM you will share to this virtual device, right? So it automatically recommends four CPUs and three gig of RAM. So what I do is click to manual and select four CPUs and four gig of RAM. So the last thing which is very important is graphics. So we have three options for resolution over here. Um, best for retina display, uh, we have high resolution, high D DPI graphics, and the app will look sharp and clear. We have scale to a full size, you know, if you use the single display without any external monitors, you can use the first option. But for anyone who use the external display, you can select this one. Like there's a lot of setting, but I just show you the main things to improve the performance. So let's skip this part, continue with uh, the installation assistant. So over here you can see it show like the window 11 with four CPUs, four gig memories and display 256 gig. And if you want to change your mind, you can always go and click to configure and you will have the chance to reselect your options and just click continue to keep going. Now the installation assistant will do its job. So on this one, just click next and relax. Wait for about 15 minutes to complete installation. 2000 years later. And here we are, after 50 minutes, the installation is complete. So Windows 11 is still on its beta stage. And now we'll show you how you can get the latest versions of Windows 11 to make your virtual machines up to date all the time. And what you need to do is go to search over here and type in Insider. And click to Windows Insider Program Settings. So as you see over here, it says to join the Insider program, you must turn on options on diagnostic data. So just go to open diagnostic and feedback and turn on. Go to Windows Insider program settings and get started. So at this step, you will need to link an account to join the program. So link an account. After you successfully sign in, you have to choose your insider channel. So in here, you select the dev channel. Click continue. So you will have to restart your virtual device in order to complete the installation process. Here we are. So to get the latest update versions from Microsoft for the Windows 11, you will go to Windows Insider Program Settings. Now you go to System, Window Update, and you can see there's an update available to download. Click Download Now. So I recommend to check this frequently to get the latest versions from Microsoft. And now we just wait a little bit to it to download the latest versions of Windows 11. So it will restart the uh, virtual machines and we will complete the uh, Windows 11 installations on the MacBook M1 to parallels. And here we go guys, after the Windows updates is complete, uh, it will tell you to restart the virtual device. And once you restart, you go to settings and you see you are up to date and if you not see that just click check for update and if there's any update will automatically download and update for you but once you get the message you are up to date you are good to go you're good to enjoy the window 11s on your mac m1 for the next video i will try to test some window games or applications on this virtual device or if you want me to test anything just leave a comment below and i will try my best this is tommy we'll see you in the next video